What up, everyone? It's your boy, Satemagali, third friend, friend of the revolution, welcoming you to another edition of Your Daily Revolution, the podcast to help you to wake up, turn your brain on, and to prosper every single day in every part of your life. Today's topic, losing 45 pounds. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. July 2015. My boy Jesse Ewell comes to town. Jesse Ewell looks like King Leonidas. The dude is ripped, shredded, strong, in shape. Runs two fitness boxes up in Seattle. The dude's a beast. And he comes and works out with me. And we take this picture together. And I look at it. Dude, The dude looks like a monster. Just this shredded comic book. Marveled out. I'm like, dude. And then I look at myself, and I look fat, overweight, disgustingly unhealthy. And I said, dude, how could this be? How could this be? And I struggled with all these ridiculous stories about food and health, and it's so hard, and basically blaming, complaining, and making excuses. Well, today, while I'm shooting this, it is May 1st. May 1st, 2016. So literally almost 10 months. It was July 6th when I weighed in, and it is May 1st, 10 months later. Today I weighed in on the scale at 289. How about that for you, boy? 289, so I've lost 45 pounds. Now let me tell you what, what, why this is so significant. Because in my life, I have gone back and forth. This is the fourth time I have lost almost 50 pounds. I I did it in 2005. I did it in 2009. I did it in 2012. And here's the pattern, right? One more time. But this time's going to be different. Now, before we talk about why this is going to be different, let's talk about losing weight. Let's talk about health. So I have this daily habit system called the starting five. And it's a sports metaphor, right? Get your starting five, right? basketball. The starting five for me is the daily rituals, rhythms, and routines that give you momentum, that give you power, that give you perspective, that just give you strength every single day. These are the habits that you infuse into your life. And part of my, one of my starting five is the body, meaning physical exercise, exercise and nutrition, fitness and fuel. The body's powerful, it's a weapon. So how did I lose 45 pounds? Well, here's the the reality. I was just sick and tired. I get so sick and tired of being so overweight and so fat and so unhealthy. And people are like, dude, you are huge, which is code for, dude, you're fat. People are like, oh, dude, you're, look at your arms. I'm like, dude, my arms are fat. Come on. Let's not even lie about this. Come on now. And I got to a point last July where I was just tired. I was just tired of it. See, maybe in your life today, there's something may not even be your body. You just get so tired of being where you're at. For me physically, like, couldn't fit into my church clothes. Like, I got this double chin action going. I'm like, dude, that's kind of embarrassing. I wonder why guys like wear goatees and beards when they get bigger. I'd walk up the flight of stairs in my house and be like breathing heavy. My, my joints hurt, my ankles hurt, my knees hurt, my back hurt. It was my neck and my back. And I just was like, dude, that's enough. That's enough. So I made a commitment. I got clear. And 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 with the commitment, before the commitment, there's got to be a choice, a decision. I made a decision. I decided I am done. Now, compared to the past when I do this, I'm going to lose 50 pounds in 90 days, which I could do. The problem is like like a slingshot or like like a boomerang, I'd lose it so fast I never changed the real habits and lifestyle. I never changed my mind and my heart. Therefore, I just put the weight back on. But not this time. This time was different. I said, I'm going to take a year. I'm going to take a year 
In fact, I'll even take two years if that's what's required. But I know I can't do this anymore. I'm done. So that's the first lesson, right? Just are you done? And take a look at your body. Is there a piece of your body and physical health and nutrition that's like, dude, I'm done? Think, think about your spirituality. Are you in a place right now that you're in pain? Spiritually, with purpose, the meaning of your life? What about your relationships? Are you still living in a mediocre marriage? Are you still not present with your children? Are you still living in fantasy land? Virtual reality relationships? Or, and, your business? Where are you at with your business? Are you still in a place where you're like scraping? Have you decided that you're going to do something different? That you're going to be someone different? That you're going to level up your mindsets? Well, that was the first thing I made a decision. Once I made the decision, or once I decided, I am done. No more. I can't stand this. Like, I had to get to a place of just absolute hate and anger. Yes, hate and anger. I used to grow up thinking, oh, you should never hate anyone because Jesus never said, like he said, never hate. And that's all some bull crap. I was mad. And for some of you, you're going to have to channel what I call that dark warrior, the dark side of you, to get angry, angry, pissed off, no more, enough is enough. It's like the woman who gets abused, and I've known some. They get physically abused. J-Lo was in a movie, and I was like, why would she keep it? I think it was called Enough. This is an old, older movie. And she just kept getting abused and abused. And why do women stay in these relationships? Oh, yeah. It's no different than a man staying broken in poverty. It's no no different than a man like me being grossly overweight and staying there. Like someone being addicted to drugs, alcohol, porn. And I have to get angry, like just pissed off. Like enough is enough. And once I made that decision, once I chose that, I then made a commitment. See, a commitment must come about once you're clear about what's required. What was required? Well, I was going to have to go increase my mindset and my knowledge about food, about fats, carbs, proteins, because I've tried everything, right? The lemon juice detox, the Atkins thing, the, the, the seven-day juice fast. Oh, I lost 20 pounds, but dang, I ate at the buffet and I put on like 15 pounds. What happened? That's not real weight loss. That's not real fat loss. So I got clear about what I really wanted. Like I was like, I'm done. And then I had to go figure out, okay, what are all the steps required? What's the price I'm going to have to pay? And once I did that and made the commitment, it's been game on. I'm 45 pounds down. It's crazy. 45 pounds. I'm like, dude, how in the world was I ever 335? If any of you ever see me that fat again, please slap me. No, I'm serious. Just come up to me and just slap me in the face and say, dude, you're fat. That's not fat shaming for me. It's just fat truth. It's truth telling. I want the truth. So big, the big lesson for you is will you decide. And for some of you, you're physically in great shape. But there's another part of your life that's like, dude, enough is enough. Get mad. Get angry. Write it down what you want. What you really want and why it matters. But the first step is just, dude, make the decision. Like, decide. All these people, oh, Satema, it's just so hard. You just don't understand. No, I do understand. Trust me. I'm a yo-yo. This is the fourth time I'm dropping weight, and I will not do this again. Ironically, I said that last time, but I wasn't really serious about it. Now that I'm in my 40s, it's, it, I can't do this anymore. So what decision must you make today, my friend? What decision have you been avoiding? Just hoping that magically it would take care of itself and they would happen. What decision in your life, maybe it's in your business, that you have avoided becoming a master marketer, a presenter? What is the decision you've got to make within your marriage and relationships as a provider, as a spouse, as a parent? What decisions must you make in regards to your spirituality, your connection to God? your purpose on this earth, and what decision must you make with your body? 
Make the decision today and the rest will begin to fall into place. If you fail to make the decision and really decide what you're going to do and who you're going to be and what you're going to have and what you're going to create and what you're going to leave behind, well, my friends, you're in trouble. But I know this much. If you'll decide, you can get rid of the 45 pounds in your life. And it may, that 45 pounds may not even be weight. It may be some of the burden you've been carrying, and it's time to get rid of it. It's your boy, Satemangala, reminding you, if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, it's going to require you to get into a relentless pursuit with a ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day so that you can get to the top of your mountains where your prize, promise, lands, and possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you. The revolution has begun. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com. And join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.